YouTube is Texport Gone Bad, and today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make your own YouTube background for the new YouTube 2.0 layouts. So, um, YouTube's gonna make the official switch over to the layouts on July 15th. So, you guys gotta be prepared by having your own background. So, um, in this video, I'm gonna be using Adobe Photoshop CS3 to make my background. The version number of Photoshop doesn't really matter, but you do need Photoshop, the program Photoshop, to um, to be able to make your own YouTube background, and you also do need some Photoshopping skills to be able to make your own YouTube background. So let's open up Photoshop over here, and as you can see, I have two YouTube background templates already open. This one is obviously for YouTube partners because this white area represents the top banner that YouTube partners have the feature available for, and then this one is for people that aren't YouTube partners that don't have the top banner feature. So um, the link to download both of these templates will be in the video description, so just click on whichever one applies to you, download it, open it up in Photoshop, and then just pretty much watch the rest of this video. So I'm gonna, so today I'm going to be using this template, the one for normal YouTubers, not the one for normal for YouTube partners, just because the majority of the people watching this video are probably going to be normal YouTubers. So I'm going to minimize this and maximize this, zoom in a little, and let's get started. First of all, I'm going to start off by explaining what each layer does. First of all, there's this top layer. I named it just white area because I don't know what else to call it. Um, basically just adds a little drop shadow at the top. Um, I would recommend leaving that just because it applies a nice effect because it makes it look like the YouTube toolbar at the top where it says YouTube and has a search bar. It makes that area look like it has a drop shadow effect on your uh, on your layout. So I would leave that there, but again, you always have the option to delete that layer if you don't want it. Also, you, you have the pretty much classic black center background right here. Uh, you could al also change the color of that if you want, but I would recommend leaving it as black. But if you do want to change the color, double click on the layer, and that should open up the layer styles menu. And when the layer styles menu opens up, first of all, you want to go to color overlay, click that on, and change the color to something like red or whatever color you want. And then you're also going to have to change the outer glow to the same color that you put as the color overlay. So it's red again. But in this case, I'm going to leave it as black, so I'm just going to press cancel and cancel again. And then um, you have the simple, um, just the background. Uh, you could change the color of that same way as the black layer. Just double click on the background and just apply a color overlay on it. And then it'll change the background color to whatever you want. And it's just as simple as that. So now all you have to do is just apply all your effects to the background, then upload it to YouTube. So um, today I'm just, I'm just going to be applying a simple st starburst effect, just because it's a classic it's a classic effect and it looks really nice on pretty much any background. So I'm gonna leave the color as gray, and then I'm gonna go to File New, and you want to make it fairly big. So I'm gonna make the width 1,000 and the height 1,000, and press OK. Now this is just going to create a new document or new canvas for us so we could make the starburst effect and then click and drag it onto the um, onto the actual background. So first you want to do a um, gradient overlay so make sure that your foreground color is black and your background color is white. Choose your gradient tool and click and drag from the bottom all the way to the top. Hold shift to make a straight line and let go and you should come up with something like this. Next up, go to Filter, Distort, and then click on Wave. And then once Wave pops up, you want to choose the Square option over here. The the normal one, the the default one, should be set as Sine or si yeah Sine. Um, but you want you want to change it to Square, and then press OK. And now you have this effect. Now this effect looks pretty cool if you want to use it you could go ahead and use it but in this case I want to make a starburst effect so I'm gonna go to filter again click on distort and then click on polar coordinates and the default setting should be rectangular rectangular to polar so I'm gonna leave it at that and press OK and there you go there's your starburst effect so next up I'm gonna choose my move tool or just my pointer click and drag that onto the background itself and there you go, just like that. Here is the starburst effect. Now I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger by holding Control T to um, open up the free transform tool. 
holding shift, grabbing it by the bottom side and just pulling it, making it a little bigger. And that looks pretty good, so I'm going to leave it as that. I'm going to change the layer style from normal to screen. And what that does is going to get rid of all the black um, th all the black around it. So I, could, so I just use the starburst effect that I need. And then I'm just going to drag that under the black layer and just create the effect like that. And you can mess around with it. You Obviously, you want to use your own creativity to come up with something cool on your own. Maybe you could add some text, do some other effects. But yeah, you want to use your creativity to come up with something um, cool and creative on your own. But this is as far as I'm going to go for um, just for this tutorial because I want to keep it simple. And when you're done with your um, background, when you have it satisfactory and you like it and everything, just go to File, click Save As, and save it to anywhere you want. In this case, I'm going to save it to my desktop as YouTube background. And also remember to have the file type or the file format set to JPEG and press Save. Now when this option pops up right here, the, it's going to give you the JPEG options. It's going to start off by the quality, probably will be set at maximum. But you want to be careful because YouTube doesn't allow um, anything bigger than 256 kilobytes. So you want to drag this, as you can see on maximum, uh, it says that it's going to be 264 kilobytes. So that's just a little bit higher than YouTube allows. So what you want to do is click this dragger or the pointer and just make it a little less quality and then it'll show you um, what the quality is going to come out to be which in this case is 199k and that's pretty good and it's not going to decrease the quality that much so I'm just going to leave it at that and press OK. So now I have it saved to my desktop and everything's set um, and the quality and everything is the way it should be. So next you want to open up your YouTube channel and make sure you're on the 2.0 web layout or else it's not going to look the way it should. But when you're on the 2.0 YouTube layout, just click on themes and colors, just click show advanced options, edit the, the theme colors, the, make sure the background color is set to black both over here and over here or set to the color that you decide to make the center of and then just um, add a background image over here. Click browse and then find your image. And in this case, it's on my desktop. Double click on it. Wait for it to save. And then once it's saved, just press save changes. And there you go. That's how it should look on your layout. I have the black um, center right here. And then I have the sunburst effect going on the side. And when you scroll down, it also scrolls with you. And um, remember, you could always change the height of it to adjust to your thing. For example, as you can see, if I scroll down, over here, the rest of it is black just because it ran out of the background space. So it just put a solid color in the back. So you could always adjust the height to, so, it, um, so it fits perfectly with your YouTube channel. So that is it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and hope those templates help you guys out. Um, if you did like this tutorial, please check out my YouTube channel at techsportcombat.com. That'll redirect you to my YouTube channel and you can subscribe if you like my videos. And then also check out octogeek.com for graphic designing blogs and all that type of stuff, which that, that also is my website. So um, hope you guys liked the tutorial and until next time, I'll see you guys later.